Good morning, Payton Florence Tigers. Today is, is September 5th, 2018. It's, it's wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday. My name is Michael White, broadcasting from WPFE. And I am Taraji Stewart. We, we are from Ms. Wiseman's second grade class. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. It's a new day, Tigers. Let's take a moment to reflect on positive thoughts. Please stand and raise your right hand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Wednesday, September 5th, for lunch we are having broccoli and cheese rice casserole, turkey and ham and cheese wrap, Barbecue Campfire Pinto Beans. This week's AR Spotlight is on Miss A's 5th grade class, taking the lead with 67.3 AR points, the highest points in the whole school. Miss A's class, this shoe shout out is just for you. Are you an open-minded person? Today's mission is to find out the traits of an open-minded person. They tend to appreciate their culture and the culture of others. They seek to evaluate the points and views of others and are willing to grow from their experiences. They are very accepted. This month's poster contest is about open-mindedness. Make sure you research your topic, check your spelling, put your name, grade, and teacher's name on the back of your poster, and above all, be creative. Submit your posters to Miss Gay by September 14th. Good luck, students. Your school is counting. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back from a long weekend. Ms. Gunner really missed you. Just have a few announcements. This Wednesday starts tutorial. If you got a tutorial form, make sure you are here every other Wednesday. So on the first and the third Wednesday is tutoring. And then you know what happens next Wednesday? That's when clubs start. That's on the second and the fourth Wednesday. And we'll be announcing it so you can keep up with it. So I can't wait to see all the boys and girls who signed up for clubs. And boys and girls, tutoring is so, so important. We want you to be successful. You're so smart. We just want to help you be even more smart than what you are already. So make sure you go to tutorial. First and third Wednesday. It starts this Wednesday. That's tomorrow, boys and girls, so be sure you're here. Okay, boys and girls, uniforms, you all are looking so good. I'm still seeing just a few kids here and there without uniforms. Remember, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uniforms, uniforms. You get those dojo points. We had dojo treats uh, last week. We had a dojo party. Golden ticket. We started a new month. Now it's in September. If you come to school each and every day, that's the Peyton way. We're going to do another golden ticket drawing at the end of this month. And if you want to be included, and don't forget, boys and girls, don't forget about that Five Below Club and that big carnival we're going to have with all the rides and all the treats. If you miss more than five days of school, you're going to miss out and you're going to be so sad. Okay, now my favorite thing, books, books, books. Boys and girls, look right here. This tells us how each class is doing and how many AR points. We haven't had our AR kickoff pet rally, but that shouldn't stop us from reading. Look at that. I just want to say, way to go. Second grade, Miss Reisman's class with 34 points. Oh my God. Third grade, let's see who's winning. Miss Holland's class, come on. Uh, Miss Broadwater's class, you're right behind them. Read, 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 read. Let's look at fourth grade. Who is it? Miss McBride's class. Miss Robinson's class, you are right there. Keep reading, keep reading. Fifth grade, ooh, let's see who it is. Miss A's class, congratulations. Miss McNeil's class is right behind them. Read, read, read. Let me see. 
Oh, Mr. Cox class, you don't have any points. Come on, I need you to read. Read, it's our superpower. Let's see, fifth grade has 156 AR points as a grade level, job well done. Boys and girls, not only should we be reading, not only should we be understanding what we read, but don't forget, you have to make at least an 80. That means you have to read the book, you have to understand what you're reading before you take the test. When you take a test and you don't score an 80, you don't get any points. And that means you're not really learning from what you read. So I need you to read very carefully and read the book all of it before you take your test. And look, boys and girls, look over here. Meet your incredible AR super readers. Who loves the Incredibles? Every week, Miss Austin is going to put the boys and girls who have the top scores in each class. Look, she's not done yet, but I want to say congratulations to Jacquavius Hill, James Sinkfield, and Jeremiah Day. It's going to be some more up there, but these three young men, they are the incredible readers. Will it be you next time? And let's mosey on this way, boys and girls. I hope you can see when you come across this commons area, look over there. It said words are great. Every week we're going to have five new words that's going to be on the announcements. And I want to see which little tiger is paying attention. The words we had last week, distinguish, accomplish, contribute. Do you know what those words mean? What will the five words be for this week? And when you walk around, I want you to look up on that wall and I want you to see, man, do I know the, the words for Peyton Forrest? Smart Tigers, we learn, we read, we try our best. We answer all questions with a complete sentence. We're kind to each other and we take care of our school. So I want to see who is abiding by the Forest Five. And the last thing, books. Oh my God, look, Black Panther. This is battle for Wakanda. There's a crisis in Wakanda. There's T'Challa, the Black Panther. He's fighting against the Avengers. Who will win? Come and get this book from the media center. Oh, boys and girls, a wrinkle in time. Let me tell you why Ms. Gunner's so excited about this book. Because a, a movie came out with The Wrinkle in Town with Oprah Winfrey and all these people. If you come and get this book, it's a fairytale land. It's about bravery, self-discovery. It's about an imaginary land. If you read this book, if you pass your AR test with this, you're going to have to watch the movie with me and Miss Austin. And we get to talk about it because I haven't seen the movie and I'm so excited. So come and get these two books. And you know what Miss Austin told me? Those $1 books that are on sale. She said the only uh, boys and girls who are coming to buy those books are our little tigers. My third, fourth, and fifth grade tigers. Don't you want a dollar book? Bring your dollar and get you a book that you can keep home. And our little library outside is taking off. But boys and girls, remember, when you take a book out of the little library, I want you to take it home, read it, talk to your parents about it, and then I want you to bring it back and get another one so some more tigers can get it. Boys and girls, I love you. You can do anything. Let's make it a great day the Peyton way.